1946, 1947, 1948, out in what is now, well, that we know is Oklahoma. Many of the young ladies enjoyed the fancy dance that the men were doing. They wanted to dance, but the men said it's a specialized song. Quite often the men would tell of their hostilities, their experience in battle with an armed enemy. And they would show this in the performance of their fancy dance. And that's why the women were prohibited from dancing this particular style of dance. But over the many years, the young ladies said, hey, that's a fun dance, we want to do it. They would disguise themselves as guys a long time ago. They would come out and they would do this dance and then pretty soon the men caught on what was going, what was happening. And they said, well, we don't mind because they're women. How can they expect to win? But you know, it didn't take long before these women were winning third place. They were winning second place. They were winning first place in championships. And the men got together in Oklahoma and said, wait a minute, let these women do their own category. So about 1947, 1948, very, very popular. This dance originated into the women's category of women's fancy. You look at their dance outfits or dance regalia, very colorful. It might be symbolic of tribal colors. Maybe a gift to the young lady from a close friend or family. The symbol, the color has very prominent significance. So when the young lady dances, the fancier the dance style, the steps, the better. That's why it's called fancy dancing. We're going to move over here to Thunder Voice. Thunder Voice, you're going to have the women's fancy show. Whenever you're ready, guys, you're on the air. Women's fancy show. Hey, all right, there you are, women's fancy.